As the disturbing footage of Tyree Nichols' fatal confrontation with Memphis police continues to circulate online, many are feeling a range of emotions from anger and sadness to fear and frustration. WSFA 12 News anchor Rosanna Smith spoke to one expert on how to protect your mental health during this time. The graphic content in the Tyree Nichols video released just days ago is raising concerns about how it might impact mental health. I am a proponent for protecting your mental health and emotional health at all costs. And for me, that means not taking in the images from the video of Tyree Nichols being murdered. Psychotherapist Candace Anderson says a type of trauma that usually results from watching these kinds of videos when there is police brutality or an injustice is called injustice trauma. It can affect people in different ways. If you are feeling less trust in the system, if you are feeling like you are constantly in survival mode, trying to be safe, trying to remain vigilant to make sure that you're okay, your family is okay. If you feel a sense of loss of control, these are some definite signs. And watching the video can be particularly triggering among black people. So my message to black men, to brothers would be, it's okay for you to feel and to be validated and to be seen and to be heard. You can't do surgery on yourself, and so you need a professional that can help you navigate process and release some of these things that you've been accumulating over your lifetime. Anderson points out coping with your emotions and feelings begins with talking to someone you trust. It's okay to acknowledge that you are feeling something that is uncomfortable. It doesn't mean that you're weak. It means that you're human. And Val Anderson also really encourages everyone, regardless of their race, to show kindness and care and empathy during this time. And mm -hmm. remember that even if you don't know what to say right now, that is okay. Being present can really make a difference. It sure can. Just being silent and being there. Yes. Absolutely. Well, if the feelings get overwhelming, you can reach out to a therapist or doctor about the best ways to get you the help you need. There are mental health resources out there. We've placed that information on WSFA.com.